Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet the Snapdragon stitch. So when I googled Snapdragon stitch, there were so many different types of stitches, mostly with shells. So this is one of the many Snapdragon stitches, I believe. As you can see, a combination of shells, and these are decreases, three double crochets together, and then there's just a two row repeat. All right, let's get started. So I have this worsted weight yarn here. I'm going to start with a slip knot. This pattern is in multiples of eight plus two. So I'm just going to make a swatch here. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Once you have your multiples of eight, chain two more stitches. Today is Halloween. You probably won't see this until after, but it's so fun to wear these holiday nails. Although I become useless because I can't really do anything with these. <laughs> so hopefully I can actually record this video. So now we're going to start with the second chain from the hook. So first, second, working into the humps. I'm going to turn it slightly, insert my hook into the hump or the back spine, and I'm going to work one single crochet. Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and then into the fourth stitch, one, two, three, four. I'm going to work nine double crochets. That's going to be a shell stitch. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, so I'm going to work eight more. It's going to be a little squishy in there because it's a a nine stitch shell. So here's nine double crochets to make a shell stitch. Now we're going to skip three. One, two, three, and then one single crochet into the next. And then you repeat. Skip three, work a shell stitch, skip three, and one single crochet. So you should end with one single crochet into the last stitch. Skip three, one, two, three, into the next. Nine double crochets. Skip three, one, two, three, into the fourth, one single crochet. I have my last shell and then I'll work one single crochet here. Okay, so now I'm going to skip three and work one single crochet into the last stitch. So here's one, two, three, into the last stitch, one single crochet. Okay, so that's going to be your foundation row or row one. Row two, we're going to chain five. Three, four, five. So this chain five is going to count as one treble and then a chain one. So for the treble, it's four chains and then your chain one. Turn your work. So we're going to skip the first double crochet here. This is the first one. And into the next three, we're going to work a double crochet three together. So we're going to yarn over, skip this first one into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So do that three times. So that's one, yarn over, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, into this third stitch now, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. 
yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you have four loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four. So that's your double crochet three together. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, into the next stitch. This is going to be the center of your shell stitch. One single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Okay, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that two more times, yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next double crochet, the single crochet, and the next double crochet here. And then we're repeating again from here where we worked our first double crochet three together. So I'm skipping these three stitches. I'm going to work double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Chain three, one, two, three, one single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet three together over the next three. So that's going to be your repeat all the way across. I'm at the end here. I'll show you what to do after you work your last double crochet three together. I'll show you what to do after you work your last double crochet three together. Okay, you're going to chain one. Now we're going to work one treble into this single crochet here. So we're skipping the next one and then we're going to work one treble crochet here. Make sure you chain one after your cluster of double crochet three together. Yarn over twice into the single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then finally, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we're ready for row three. Chain one and turn into the same stitch. You want to work one single crochet. So we're going to work a shell stitch into the single crochet here that's in the center of this shell. So that's nine double crochets into the single crochet. Okay, there's my shell stitch. Now there's a chain one here we're going to work into this space, just one single crochet, right into the space. And then you repeat, shell stitch into the next single crochet here. We're skipping all of the chain three stitches. Into the next space, one single crochet. And then you're just going to repeat across. You'll end with one single crochet in this space here. So nine double crochets. Okay, so work one single crochet into this space here. So now you're just going to repeat rows two and three until you're happy with the size. Okay, I've worked a few rows and this is what it looks like. I stopped on this row giving me a straight edge. If you stop on the shell row, it's going to be a scalloped edge. So depending on what your project is, you can stop wherever you'd like. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button. You'll be notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.